welcome to King of the Ring 2. Have a look, son. <laughs> <laughs> So Jack, you and Max are the heaviest fighters on the card. He is a cracking six foot seven. And do you feel like that he's gonna have an advantage reach-wise and everything like that? Well, he will, but we're about, he's two inches taller than me, I think, but I'm about the same weight, so I feel like I can be in better shape. I think he's a rower or something, but I'm not too sure. It's not, it's not gonna matter anyway. <laughs> Max, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Tallest fighter on the card. What do you know about Jack Patton? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Like a pretty girl, but I'm sure I can actually do something else. And you're being sponsored by the Athlete Centre? I am, yes. Yeah. They train me two times a week as well, I'm a personal trainer. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Any words for Gemma? Don't know who she is, so I'm just going <laughs> to knock her out. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So, Gemma, you are part of the first Queen of the Ring bout with Thea. I am. How do yeah. you respond to her allegations that she's going to knock you out in the fight? Unlikely, unlikely, I don't think so. I made a stronger stuff than that. She's gonna have to work pretty hard to knock me out. Do you have any words for Noah, Kelsey? Um, well, it's gonna get biblical. Send it back to the Old Testament, yeah? You're gonna send it back to the Old Testament? There's a reason why I get called shovel, because these hands dig graves. <laughs> So Alex Lovell said he's going to send you back to the Old Testament with your name being Noah. Do you have a response? Um, I mean, it's when it, people lie all the time. That seems like a big lie to me. He said that he's Alex Shovel and his uh, fist dig graves. My fist will be as heavy as my ark. Ah, this guy. Yeah. So Callum, how do you respond to being called uh, Callum Glassjaw by Will Vince? Don't know man, I'm not a big fan of cliches to say the least, you know, bad puns. But let's just say he's going to be Vince Meat. Vince Meat, okay. Yeah. So uh, Callum said he's going to turn you into Vince Meat. Do you have a response? Well, he's obviously been looking at my Instagram. <laughs> obviously, been looking at my Instagram. You did uh, call the shop first when you called him Callum Glassjaw. I actually didn't say that, you said that. <laughs> I did not say that. So we find ourselves in this car park once again. So Jack Deacon, I've heard you got a few words for Tom Finch. What are they? Yeah, I just think that you've opened Pandora's shit box coming into this one, Finchy. Um, you might have a few inches on me up top, but I reckon I've got a few on you downstairs. So we'll see what you've got, eh? I mean, everyone's been saying he's a bit bigger and a bit shorter, but the bigger they are, the harder they fall. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. How do you respond that he reckons he's going to take you out and knock you out? Bullshit. Bullshit. You might have me for a round, but not the other two. Uh, have you got a lot of um, support ready to come and show their faces at King of the Ring? Yeah, they have. Got a table. Got a table? Yeah. How do you feel that you got the last table instead of his house? Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> so we have Oliver Proudlock versus the Conor McGregor of Clyde Duke. <laughs> what are the thoughts and feelings going into the fight? Um, Obviously, it's history between our countries anyway. It's going to bring it out, bring out the nationalistic approach to it. So, Aaron, uh, being an Irish man, do you feel like you've got the spirit of fighting Irish? I definitely mean, uh, I say on December the 3rd, I just hope for his sake he doesn't turn up, because he's going to get seriously injured. So, Sam, you are Snow Sports representative. Do you reckon you'll get the full rally of support? Yeah, I reckon uh, everyone's going to come and support me. Get behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so Tom Lawson has actually said he thinks you're quite a nice guy. Do you have any response to that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think he's right. Yeah, you think yeah. he's right? <laughs> Not that hard. Have you decided to ring music yet? Uh, no, not yet, not yet. Okay, uh, the most interesting interview we've had thus yeah, far. Yeah, cheers, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Is there a sense of rivalry between the two clubs or not? Well, there's always the... a bit of rivalry with football and rugby, but boxing's a bit different. Do you fear the wrath of Africa? No. No? No, he's a nice guy. Um, hopefully we'll be able to put on a good good show for everyone, really. But, I mean, it's, it's prime time flight, number seven. Everyone's going to be boosted up. Um, hopefully me and him will be able to put on a good show for everyone. So he's quite a lot taller than you. Do you think that's going to have a, any effect on the fight at all? Uh, just from training experience, fighting the shorter guys is as tough as I think he's going to have a tough fight. Um, I think the way training is going at the moment, it's not going to last any more than two rounds. 
Do you think your hockey background is going to do you any favours? Yeah, I think it will, like fitness-wise. And also, like, we do a lot of posture work, so that always helps as well. Do you think uh, you've had enough hand being the first fighter in that? Well, yeah, I mean, I've certainly I've been prepared more, so I think I've been down a lot more than him, but we'll see. I think he's definitely got fitness on me, fair hockey. I've been a bit of a slacker recently.